Hi guys, it's Elle here to do a collective reading. I'm gonna go from Aries to Pisces. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing each and every zodiac sign with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for you guys. Uh, keep in mind, all links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, if you wanna book your own reading, go over to the website. So let's see what's going on for Aries. All right, happy. So somebody is happy. This also can mean, um, you know, gay, lesbian. Um, let's see, someone's happy here. It could be happy celebrating a happy birthday. Someone could be getting over an illness, um, getting over being sick, okay? Um, sick and tired of, you know, maybe the same situation here. Let's pull one tarot card for the uh, Aries here. So it's like you're getting over something. Yeah, getting over somebody's cheating lying ways the deception here um you're happy that maybe you avoided this uh this charade this masquerading this um deceptive person deceptive nature maybe someone was trying to sneak around with you or this is what you were doing um, but someone has gotten over it okay someone is happy um yeah somebody was cheating while she was pregnant so some you know it could be you aries it could be someone else uh, someone was cheating uh, while they were you know starting something else maybe a family or maybe a new relationship somewhere else so it looks like somebody is happy because they they escaped this or they got away from it or they're over it here all right let's see what's going on for Taurus. keep in mind guys whoever time stamps this video for all zodiac signs i will answer two free questions via the tarot so if you time stamp this video for all 12 zodiac signs, I will answer two free questions via the Tarot. You just have to email me. The email address is in the description box, all right? The first person to, to timestamp. Not everybody, but the first person, all right? So be the first. Let's see. All right, what's going on for Taurus? What's going on for Taurus here? What's happening for my Taurus? All right. So clear skin, you could be working on getting clear skin or you're seeing something clearly. You you understand it. Um, you like what you're seeing also. Maybe you uh, something has changed for you. Maybe because you changed, you had grown complacent, stuck, but now you're seeing clear um, that if you change, things will change around you. Um, you're clearly seeing how, how much someone likes you loves you let's see seven of swords coming out again and i did shuffle really good so um maybe you're seeing clear or you're seeing through somebody's deceptive way maybe this person was acting like they didn't like you also but now you're seeing it here you couldn't see it at first let's see yeah they really like you the ten of cups here it's like um but they're keeping it to themselves with the high priestess, also holding back for whatever reason. Um, they could have also have some secret plan here. Um, they could also be a secret person too. A lot of secret energy holding on to something, not uh, divulging, not letting it out. So you can have somebody holding on to how much they like you, how much they care for you, um, how much you mean to them. For whatever reason, they just feel like they cannot disclose this. This could be a strategy, you know, um, they could be acting strategic in this relationship. You know, I can keep this person chasing or wondering, keep their mind wondering here. Uh, yeah. Okay. But they really like you. Okay. Especially if they see you as the high priestess. They see you as desirable, sexy, above every other woman, you know, in terms of romance. All right. So let's see what's going on for Gemini. Okay, Gemini, your card just fell out. All right, so we've got understanding. So maybe you and somebody's gonna come to some understanding. Someone could feel like you're very understanding or vice versa, this is how you feel about them. Um, but something about understanding, getting to an, a clear understanding. It could be with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, with this orange here, maybe around someone's birthday or, um, maybe around a significant date you've got to get to some understanding about the dates yeah fear of missing out maybe somebody's trying to rush something out of fear of missing out here gemini is like um 
if something happened around someone's birthday here, you got to come to some understanding that um, we've got to slow something down or we have to have uh, some clarity. Fear of missing out. It's like maybe somebody's trying to rush something or they're, 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 they haven't decided on you or vice versa. You haven't decided on them. Yeah, somebody is um, kind of lukewarm, placid with the blue card. Like they're just in the middle. Let's see. What is this about for Gemini? Yeah, two of pentacles. Somebody's like weighing the, the decision, the pros and the cons. It's up in the air. They could be keeping a decision up in the air. They could have another person that they're juggling you with. They're trying to maintain two different relationships, trying to grow two different relationships here. What is this about? Well, this seven of swords won't leave us alone. Yes, it's all about deception right now. Okay, so yes, yeah, like somebody's trying to do something behind the scenes, trying to get away with it. Not they're trying to come out unnoticed, unscathed. Um, maybe somebody has an ulterior motive. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, you're dealing with somebody who has like um, singular plans. They, they really don't involve you there's also somebody doing something behind the scenes how they make their money could be taboo could be all altogether illegal with the will of fortune and the thug card could be dealing with somebody who does something illegally okay um and they're trying to keep it on the low you know they, they sneak around doing this this is not something they can do out in the open okay so let's see what's going on for cancer cancer okay cancer you're all right, so it looks like, um, what is this card? All right, birthday. So birthday came out maybe around your birthday or around someone's birthday. Something significant happened. Um, maybe you were just kind of in the middle with the blue card, with it being blue. Yeah, you came to some understanding around someone's birthday that uh, maybe, yes, yes, they are the one. Yes, they're a live wire. Um, I don't know, you know, let's see what this is all about. Maybe, um, a significant date, something happened. They were trying to get you to some understanding or you understood something clearly around someone's birthday or around your birthday. You will, uh, we got the yes answer. Yes. All right. Let's see what's going on for cancer right now. Um, death card. So, so a relationship ended or maybe some, uh, this also could be like a, a, a part of someone's dying, like a, a, a personality trait or something like that. Let's see. Yeah. The temperance card, like somebody's, you came to some understanding, some divine intervention, maybe help restore or transition a relationship. Maybe somebody started to act more calm because you got live wire and then the temperance card. So someone started to temper their emotions. Wow. Yeah. The higher fan, like, Ooh, the spirit came in and, and moved you and somebody because there was no activity between the two of you. You guys had just accepted that, but it's like spirit moved something between the two of you to where now, um, it's like the high friend says that trying to the universe trying to bring two different people together, order out of chaos. Like it used to be chaotic or someone was a live wire. Then you guys came to some understanding, some agreement, some compromise, um, and maybe transform this relationship around someone's birthday or um, a significant day here. Yes answer. Um, this also talks about um, if it's going well, it's going to stay that way. If it's not going so well, divine intervention, wait for that compromise. It also talks about taking the middle ground. It talks about alchemy, feminine and masculine energy. Somebody's tempering out their emotions. It looks like it's like something's trying to work out for you here, Cancer, between you and someone else that that you were separated from, but you didn't think it was over with. All right. So let's see what's going on for Leo. All right, Leo. Okay, Leo. All right, let's see, Leo. All right, Leo, understanding is coming out. All right, that could be you um, with this, would it be an orange? Maybe get into an understanding or you want to get 
to understand that maybe someone's leaving you out or you're leaving someone out or maybe you don't feel like you are um, a part of your person's life or you feel like information is being left out. You feel like someone is lying by omission, um, beard. You maybe you feel like somebody is something else. Someone's trying to portray them as a different thing. So we know that sometimes beard, that term could be used for, you know, a cover. Maybe you, your person, somebody's trying to cover for your person. You're trying to cover for somebody. Something is what it is not. So, you know, a beard could be in terms of sexuality too. Maybe someone is trying to masquerade like they are a uh, one way um, when they're really not. It's like you want to come to an understanding about what somebody, what a person means to your person or what somebody in this, you have someone broken your trust. You know that they're a fast thinker and they'll say anything and they'll try to dominate the relationship or excuse me, the conversation or the relationship, but you're seeing through them. But at the same time, you're trying to save the relationship or the marriage, but you feel like they are just being unfair to you. You could be the feminine energy um, and they could be playing off of that also. So it's like you're trying to come to some understanding about what this person is doing or what they're not doing or who this person is is to them like maybe they could be saying that's just my friend but it could be more than that that could be the beard too someone could be acting like it is when it isn't or it isn't when it is let's see all right let's get two cards from the tarot for leo oh geez full card yeah could be something about sexuality too maybe somebody is acting like they they aren't gay when they really are um, they're not ready to come out, you know, something about timing. Yeah. Somebody's holding firm. This is the Leo card also with seven of wands, um, about their sexuality or sex or what they do for fun. They could even be saying that maybe they explore in their sexuality and it's just for fun, you know, um, you also could be just wanting to get some understanding about maybe where a relationship is going because it's grown stagnant or stuff. All right. So let's see what's going on for Virgo. All right, Virgo. Let's see. Virgo. I've been getting so many uh, requests for this deck. I love this deck. Though. I think out of all the decks that I have made, this is one that I really resonate with. Because you can just pull this deck, you can get the whole story, you know. But anyway, uh, Virgo, Virgo, let's see what's going on for Virgo, Virgo. All right. So someone's saying, I love everything about you, or this is what you could be saying. Could be about a fire sign. Yeah, I stare at your picture for hours. I'm obsessed. This could be you. It could be the other person. Someone's cheating while she's pregnant and illness is in the reverse here. Um, so someone is coming out of maybe a bad place or a stagnation. Someone's seeing clearly also. So it's like maybe somebody has someone on the side. You could be the person on the side or you have someone on the side. Someone was cheating while still trying to work it out or make something happen somewhere else. Or while someone was actually pregnant here. So, uh, But it looks like someone's coming out of that place of being able to give you what you want or give you time or give you energy. Um... Or, or some relationship is coming out of a, a, a sick place or impoverished place or a destitute place. Like maybe you guys are going to try to grow the relationship here. Um, someone's tired. Yeah. Justice card could be dealing with the Libra. Maybe you feel like there was some unfair treatment or they treated you unfairly or you treated someone unfairly or it was unbalanced here. Like maybe they couldn't give you a lot of time. They couldn't give you a lot of their energy. Yeah. Page of swords. They were giving you just enough. Um, also you're reading between the lines and gaining more information, more knowledge. You're seeing something clear here. Okay. Somebody really could just be in this relationship because of all the physical, they love your body. Your body is perfect. They stare at your picture for hours and they love everything about you. So someone could really be with you because of the physical, you know, it could be a real physical connection here. Um, and maybe that's why they keep the conversations to a minute to a minimum. Let me see. Yeah. Um, 
they leave you hanging around and you, you have to really um take a step back and look at this from a different perspective here the two of cups you know maybe um oh you feel the void or somebody feel the void for you it wasn't supposed to be long term yep uh the four of cups coming out um maybe you're feeling rejected now or you, or uh you feel like someone's not accepting you or you or vice versa, you're not accepting someone and they feel rejected. Okay, they're looking at the past and the fun times that you have, the better times. But now they have to build or rebuild somewhere else. And it could have just been physical with you. The sacrifices you made for this relationship, you thought that it was going somewhere here. But you have to look at the part that you played in this, you know. We can't be victims all the time. We have to sometimes step back and say, okay, this is where I went wrong. You know, you don't have to take all the blame, but no one can do anything to you that you don't allow. Yeah, this is what I have for you, Virgo. Let's see what's going on for, um, who's next? Libra, right? Yeah, Libra. All right, let's see. All right, let's see, Libra. What's going on for Libra? All right, Libra. All right, Libra, sweet. So someone feels like, this is a, I heard a sweet deal. You know, maybe you're going out for sweet. Someone feels like you are sweet, you know, to the core of you, you're, you're really um, nice, kind. Maybe they treated you unfair. Or someone's realizing they treated you unfair and they're trying to save the relationship. Um, they're seeing through to you, I heard. So I put the two in there. So maybe someone's seeing the real you, you know, uh, or vice versa. You know, someone is really seeing somebody's worth here after treating them unfairly, unjust. Yeah, someone's saying your body is perfect. Um, let's see. What else do we have for Libra here? Um, and no answer. Someone saying, oh, and then no reconcile. So someone saying, no, I don't want to reconcile because I'm, I'm stuck or, or you, you will have me stuck or this relationship will have me stuck. Someone just doesn't want to reconcile here. They don't want to bring it back together. They don't believe in it. One person does. And it looks like another person doesn't. What is the, what is the message for Libra? The six of pentacles. Yeah, somebody's taking their power back now. And they feel like they have the power to say yes or no. And it is a no. Someone could be trying to show their affection, their love by way of gifts or money or just something monetary here. Yeah, somebody's walked away. But the other person feels like it's just not over yet. It's just, it's just we're not talking right now. But we're going to come back together. Yeah. They feel like um, it's conflict before resolution. Right now, the conflict is we're not talking. But somebody else feels like this is just toxic, karmic, stuck. The devil card talks about being bound, chained to. It says make sure you um, don't make a choice that leads you down a karmic, stuck, tied um, road. Don't And don't be extravagant also. Yeah. Somebody feels like this is just going to be third party and leave me in a place of um, anxiety, overthinking, and just altogether hurt. So someone is leaving this relationship behind. Somebody feels like it's too much. It's too much to to keep it up. Or they feel like it's, it's all on them to keep the relationship up here. All right. This is what I have for you, Libra. All right. Let's see. All right, now who we have next? We got Scorpio. Let's see what's going on for Scorpio. All right, oh, Scorpio, this one to come out soft. Someone feels like you're soft, your skin is soft, you're soft. Maybe you, you uh, speak real soft to them, or this is what Scorpio likes. Yeah, maternity, ooh, someone's seeing you, you know, um, it's soft, um, like you would make a good mother. Um, big money. Okay. Gossip about you. All right. So it could be someone's feminine nature. Also, someone could be gossiping about them, about how they make their money. Somebody makes their money with a lot of different women. Yeah. Body goals here coming up. Um, yeah. Hiding several different affairs from you. So maybe somebody has a lot going on here. 
but they also make a lot of money and there's a lot of gossip surrounding maybe their personal life. So this is somebody who's in the limelight. Yeah, somebody's horrible with money though. Um, and so on saying I have to be careful because she, she, he or she found the text messages. So it's like, and this could be um, the masculine uh, energy here. It could be you, Scorpio. It could be someone else. But somebody feels like somebody is just sexy as hell and they just can't let this pass. So it's like an affair happening behind the scenes. Um, it could involve you, Scorpio, or your person. It could even involve you and your person here. Um, let's see. What's going on here for Scorpio? It's like a kind of like, I feel like like a taboo situation. Maybe you invited people into your bedroom and now somebody's sneaking off with that person, either you or the other person. Um, somebody feels like they got a lot of money so they can do anything. Okay. Um, there's a lot of feminine energy here. Yeah. Full card. Yeah. Somebody feels like they can do anything. They can follow their, you know, their heart, you know, that whatever they want, the, the, the desire of their heart. And you know, if your heart isn't right, then your desires aren't right. So that's why people say that's a heart issue. So it's like somebody's just out here having maybe carefree connections, doing their thing. Yeah. Uh, temperance card, maybe with men and women here is what I heard. Yeah. Seven of swords doing something behind the scenes, sneaking around, lying. It could be a married couple who used to have people, invited people into their bedroom. Or this also could be a married couple where both have, you know, a side person. This is interesting. Yeah. These people are younger than them. Maybe they could be offering them goods or goodies or surprises. Um, Ten of Cups. Yeah, this is also like, um, this is a gay or lesbian here too. With the fool and the page of cups. Yeah, and happy. The highest level of happiness. So somebody is happy when there is some taboo relationship here that they keep to themselves. They don't want to be, you know, honest about that right now so that's what I have for you uh, Scorpio let's see all right let's see who's next we got Sagittarius Sag what's going on for Sag what's going on for Sagittarius what's going on for Sag all right so my sexting what's going on for Sagittarius what's going on for okay uh, loving all right loving nice um so you could be just someone could be loving on you you're loving on them the love is growing with the green card here let's see birthday coming up um i can't and i don't take you serious someone is a lush someone drinks too much you know maybe around someone's birthday somebody um did something or didn't do something something was broken maybe the trust Someone is putting somebody boundaries on the relationship. I can't talk after 8 p.m. You have sex with friends. Like It's like, okay, we're supposed to be friends or friends with benefits here. But somebody wants more. Um, somebody drinks too much. Maybe somebody got drunk on someone's birthday or someone got drunk on their birthday and they did something they weren't supposed to do. Somebody's a fast thinker, especially when they're confronted with all these different affairs that they are having. Someone feels like they've been too kind, too giving, too nice in a relationship here. Could be the feminine energy. Give me one more card for Sag here. Stuck, but somebody stuck um, on on you. I'm st I'm stuck on band aids because band aids is stuck on me. I don't know somebody. So it could feel like you both are stuck on one another here, you know. And with the pink card, it's like it's not. Um, you know, like full on passionate love. It's like a friend element. And then we did have sex with friends here. Someone is also inviting other people in the bedroom here. Um, somebody gets drunk and maybe has drunk sex. Yeah, five of pentacles here. Somebody feels ignored, not acknowledged, left out. They feel like they have no confidence in the relationship moving forward. Keep in mind, this is a temporary energy. Yes, yeah, like put some energy, some effort, some motivation behind it be up for the challenge of rekindling the relationship with the page of wands, but you also have to ground that energy to the death card. Yeah. Change this, you know, transition this, this relationship can come out of the dumps. It could, you know, um, yeah, there's, there's those people, those other people in the relationship that somebody was having sex with. Now somebody's getting, somebody had a lot of partners and it looks like when they went into ignoring the other people, uh, 
somebody's getting rowdy, getting rowdy, you know, getting real frisky or fiery, like don't ignore me. You know, I'll out you or they're trying to come up with some motive or arterial alter uh ulterior motive. Yeah, that's what somebody's saying here. Be careful here. It's like you have all these partners and now somebody's trying to blackmail you or use it against you or use your sexuality against you or what you were doing. I don't know. Interesting reading. Uh, someone knows what you did for money or what you do for money. Let's see. Capricorn. Capricorn. Let's see. What's going on for Capricorn? All right. So someone is miserable in this house and then house came out. House also can be interpreted as relationships. Somebody could be miserable in their relationship. Okay. Misery loves company. And that's why you'll, you'll see a lot of times people who are in miserable relationships, the cowardly thing that they will do versus um, just ending the relationship or trying to transition it by way of counseling or therapy, they'll go and get a third party because misery loves company. So, you know, if you can partake in this misery that I'm in, make me feel happy and I can take from you third party, then, um, you know, I feel better. Now you'll feel like shit, especially if I lied to you, you know, about you being this third party, but always keep in mind, you know, misery loves company. And, and uh, most times when people are seeking validation outside of their relationship, they are not the happiest people. I don't care what they tell you. All right. So someone could be miserable in this relationship. It could be someone who's really handsome. Could be you, Capricorn, someone you're dealing with. I'm horrible with money. All right, so it's like somebody, I um, heard somebody is like a sugar baby, sugar daddy. Someone is paying for it, paying other people. Uh, someone is also house poor here, uh, maybe paying too much for where they live. Um, let's see. Um, somebody is uh, about to tie themselves with somebody who's who's horrible with money, but they're good with money. Ooh, it could be the feminine. The feminine energy could be good with money. The other person could not be. Uh, yeah, somebody is a doormat here, anniversary. So um, some day is going to be significant or is significant here. This could have been a reunion also. You know, you coming back together with somebody. Yeah, it's like somebody saying, I want to surprise you with a new house, new life, new baby, new car. Maybe in March they'll do this. Um, someone feels like the other person is smart and they make them very happy. Okay. So that took a turn there. So for some of you, you're dealing with somebody who is in a miserable situation. Uh, they may even try to go out and get a third party or someone could be paying for sex or paying for fun or paying for validation. And then there's somebody here who wants to surprise uh, their person with a new life. It could be from the masculine to the feminine. The feminine could be tying herself with someone who's not great with money. Let's see. What do we have from the Tarot? All right, so we got the Four of Swords. All right, so, so it looks like this relationship is very fragile. Like, this is make it or break it time. What are we doing? Are we going to go get counseling? I'm going to work on this and heal this. Or are we done? What does the future look like with the Four of Swords here? Um, because we've already had the heartbreak and the heartache in the Three of Swords. So what the hell does the future look like? Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, is it going to get more solid, more stable? Or are you just going to be stubborn and not even try to change anything? Um, somebody also could be paying for sex. Okay. Profit for sex. Um, yeah, lots of partners. Uh, somebody saying like, are you going to fight for what you want or fight for this relationship? Yeah. The tennis or let it die. Or is this just the fullness of it? Or is this what we're going to get? Disappointment, collapse, destruction. Is this just it? Let me know. And there's a per person, somebody, somebody can't deal with this. And that's why they're miserable. They're saying they're miserable in this relationship, in this house or whatnot. You know, something inside of somebody is, you know, in, in complete, utter chaos and war. You know, the how somebody thinks. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, nine of cups. Somebody wants something else somewhere else. Okay. And they're trying to resist their urges. Um, again, this could be sex workers, exotic dancers, or something of that nature here. It's like somebody is paying for something here and they're keeping it. And, and this also talks about sex. Could be paying for sex. All right. So yeah, that's what we have there. Capricorn, that reading was all over the place. So. Um, all right. And now we have Aquarius. Let's see what's going on for my Aquarius. All right. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. 
what's going on for Aquarius? What's going on for Aquarius? Okay, resourceful. All right, so someone could be saying that you are resourceful. Um, okay, I heard you could be getting the job because you are resourceful, okay? Maybe your uh, qualifications, they match up. Wow, you got the yes answer. Yes, you are resourceful. Yes answer. Um, you're a fast thinker, okay? Um, there were other people up for the job, but it looks like you're going to win. Um, somebody is stuck. Um, because of fear of missing out, but they're missing you and they could be of two minds about a decision in terms of you and someone else, or they could just be mixed race also. Um, so you got two different stories going on. Yeah. Friends with benefits. Somebody wants to keep you in that place or keep you stuck there. It's like, they always want you to be their friend with benefit. Damn. You got legacy and friend with benefit. Like they just want you to always be that. And they want to reconcile with you. Um, all right, let's see. Last card for Aquarius. Yeah, it could be gossip about you. Um, yeah, gossip about you coming from people you haven't seen or people you kind of neutral with, you know, or, or they just don't know what's going on for around you. Maybe you're, you're fine. You're hiding what's going on your affairs, you know, not just, you know, sexual affairs, but you're hiding Maybe your business affairs. So somebody is gossiping about you. Um, why you're holding on to your money? What are you holding on to it for? Why aren't you? And then also this could just be, look, somebody's gossiping about you, about your business affairs and your money because you aren't giving out your information. You aren't talking about it. You aren't disclosing it. Okay. But you still remain happy. It says that this is a smart thing to do. It March could be significant for you. And it says that somebody wants to reconcile with you. Now, this could be a different energy. They want to surprise you with a new home, new life, new baby, new car. It's a big old surprise, okay? Anniversary came up, so they could want to reconcile with you. Let's see what the Tarot has to say, say for Aquarius. Let's see. What do we have to say for Aquarius? What does the Tarot have to say for Aquarius? The Knight of Wands. So it's like um, maybe... Somebody wants you in the capacity of always being friends with benefits. They can run in and run out. They can have access to you. They feel like you're attractive. They're attractive. They're charismatic, outgoing, spontaneous. So why not? It says that life could also just be coming to a more fun existence, uh, especially in the springtime for you. The nine of swords. Okay, yeah, this right here, if that's somebody who wants to run in and out of your life, they're going to bring you a lot of anxiety, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of frustration here, a lot of sleepless and restless nights. You'll be overthinking something here. Um, yeah, eight of swords, eight of wands and the three of swords. Here's like quick, fast to heartbreak. Okay, with this person because they're, they're in and then they're out and they leave you heartbroken. Uh, let's get maybe two more cards for the Aquarius. All right, and it, you got a new love. You got something new coming in for you. This could even be new business, new job. Um, it's like the universe is blessing you with um, the rekindling of love, maybe for yourself first. There's somebody who's going to have a big cup of love for you. They may even love you more than you love them. It says a new person comes into your life, brings a lot of happiness, joy, and contentment. It says love is flowing to you also because you are studying, practicing spirituality, you're connected to the divine. Mm. Somebody is just really stuck on you. Oh, as I say that, I see that card. Yeah. And, and, it, and it could be codependent and toxic at this point and very low vibrational. They want you to be a doormat Aquarius and it could be an Aquarius feminine. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, they want you to be a part of a third party situation. They want you to just, it says, make sure the choices that you make don't lead you down the road of entrapment to where you're then binded to this and stuck to it. Once again, is what I'm hearing. You're going to unravel, untangle your heart, your emotions, your mind out of this again. So be cautious of that. All right. That's what I have for Aquarius. Let's see, last but not least, we have Pisces. All right. All right, last but not least, we have Pisces. Let's see what's going on for my Pisceans. All right. Okay, Pisces. 
what do we have for oh jesus pisces your card flipped out Woo, plain old addicted that could be you pisces it could be a fire sign with the orange coming out um but someone is saying i can't talk after 8 p.m so this could be somebody who could be addicted to you or vice versa um but they're keeping you in a place of maybe holding the relationship you know at at a distance or at bay or this could be third party this could just be that somebody's trying to maintain two different relationships someone feels like you're soft yeah they put in others before the relationship maybe the person that they're dating Ooh, dating came out yep well okay in love with two people we talked about that too yeah so someone could just be of two minds about maybe two different people or they could be a, of two minds about maybe being in a relationship and being single yeah someone could be cheating while someone's pregnant or they could be cheating while the other while they're trying to build a relationship somewhere else so i've got this girlfriend over here but now i'm sneaking over here with this other girl so it's like i'm trying to build over here uh but i'm cheating with this other person you know and it could be vice versa women could be doing that too yeah somebody makes promises of love and, and devotion but they keep somebody's they keep someone waiting yeah and fighting for the connection uh you know um someone could be caucasian here yeah it's like um yeah someone could uh yeah somebody keeps somebody you know waiting and fighting for this and um they keep up a lot of uh drama commotion around the relationship wow it could be a sagittarius knight of wands like someone is just not they're not steady they're not allowing for the grass to grow under their feet it's not what they want Woo, the knight of swords they're also apprehensive um about commitment um but they don't want this person to get away this could be someone that you're dealing with from the past two of cups yeah they want to reconcile here they just want you to let bygones be bygones and move on yeah the queen of wands because they feel like you know someone is sexy sultry could be a mother could be um very charismatic outgoing gets a lot of eyes on her they want to take the relationship to the next level i don't know it's, yeah Someone's trying to get pregnant too, or someone's trying to get someone pregnant here. Someone's trying to go from sexy, sultry to mother energy to starting something new. Yeah, page of swords here. It's like maybe somebody is um, there's a a level of immaturity in terms of um, this relationship could be real cerebral too. Like you have to kind of um, the mental agility and going back and forth. The three of swords here. Yeah, the miscommunications like. Somebody is listening to what you're saying to kind of pick it apart with the page of swords here. Have you ever had a conversation like that? You see the person studying what you're saying and then they just di dissect the entire conversation and then it leads to miscommunication and somebody not even wanting to talk altogether, maybe an ending of a relationship because of a cheating scandal. Yeah, somebody kept something behind the scenes and kept other people behind behind the scenes it's like somebody's trying to get the information from someone here this is what i have for you pisces i hope that it resonates let me know how it resonates for each and every zodiac sign down below um let's do a collective reading all right let's see what does the universe want to tell the collective what does the universe want to tell the collective what does the universe want to tell the collective Um, oh, this came out together. Beard and Page of Cups in the reverse. None of these cards should be reversed. So it's like maybe somebody's beard, especially, and this can sometimes talk about gay and lesbian. So maybe somebody's going to be exposed here in terms of their sexuality, in terms of whatever it is they like. Could be a fire sign, doesn't have to be. Yeah, in, in terms of some taboo, um, maybe some taboo uh desire sexual desires here something that they keep hidden something that they're not exactly um wanting out in the open made known six of cups also somebody could oh jesus christ somebody could like younger uh individuals younger you know 
this could be pedophilia and um, I hope I don't get striked for that, but let's move forward. Six of pentacles. Yes. Yeah, like this also could be somebody, you know, paying for, you know, um, paying for love, paying for, um, they pick out who they want. Yeah. They could be younger. Yeah. Two of cups here. Somebody try to make a relationship out of um, a, a connection that was kind of like built on pay for play. Three of wands. Yeah. It's like they tried to expand this relationship here. I'm not saying that it can't happen, but I'm saying that that's very hard. It could be some masculine energy who's older. Hey, uh, Knight of Pentacles kind of stuck in his way. Stubborn travels for work. Maybe he traveled to one of these places where you can pay for play. And it's like they fell in love with maybe a sex worker or someone like that or something. Some relationship that is taboo here. Could be Scorpio because we have Scorpio, Taurus, Aries coming up with Scorpio coming up. Somebody's trying to end something, but the other person is trying to convince them not to. Yeah. And convince them of how much they love. They love them. How many tears they shed for this relationship. How they just need to wrap this cycle in their life up. I heard it. Come on out of the closet. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah. Queen of Cups and the Temperance card. Yeah. Like somebody is contemplating this. They're going within, they're trying to listen to their intuition. There's so many layers to this person here. It's funny that she has on a rainbow colored sweatshirt. So it's like, yeah, maybe this could be about, you know, and it's talking about masculine and feminine. So it's like someone's trying to um, temper their desires, their uh, sexuality, trying to work on themselves, work on, you know, Might go working out or trying to work it away. Or if they just engage in work, they won't have the opportunity. Or they won't they don't have to engage with this now this looks like feminine energy here. So it's like somebody's trying to, you know, um maybe even travel or travel for work or move away or move around so they don't have to engage with their partner, especially if this is a masculine energy and they have a woman, they have a wife of some sort. They don't want to really engage with her. And they don't want to have conversation with her. Let's see. Yeah, it's but it's like they're not giving up on the relationship because they're committed to the legacy of this, but they're over the emotional aspect of this relationship. They're just staying there because um, it works. It looks good and it works. Yep. Let's get some advice here for whomever that this last part resonates for. What is the advice here? What is the advice here? Motivation, question your motivation, all right? Question your heart, body changes. Listen to your body when you're around certain people, when you do certain things. Someone could even want to get cosmetic surgery to look, to alter their look. Memories, memories keep someone tied to the past. You are stronger than you know. It's like somebody's trying to come out of these urges or not think about it or try to run from it. But you, the only way through is through. Yeah. You might have to sit with about, you know, counselor, psychotherapist, therapist, whatever, and volunteer how you're feeling here. The only way through is through. Yeah. Windfall and welcome the new. So opportunity, opportune time, good luck good fortune could come into you so that you could have some new aspect of yourself, of your life, um, blossom for you, especially if you are in some type of bearded, uh, bearded, uh, bearded situation. It looks like it's coming out or it's already come out. Someone doesn't want to have a conversation either. This is what I have for all Zodiac signs. I hope that the, the readings all resonated I hope that the readings resonated for each and every zodiac sign. If it did, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two. 
by texting it to the number below. You can also go, you can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link, Catch Me Live, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where you can come for a collective reading like this one, and then also you can ask questions. So thank you guys, many blessings, take care.